up here in the North Woods where you might get snowed in completely. Someone could say, well, that's my excuse. I, I got snowed in, I couldn't go to mass. So instead I just went to the mall. Like, well, no, if you're snowed in, you know. Anyways, back to our story. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz and this is Ascension Presents. So one question that comes up all of the time, uh, like le legitimately all of the time, is the question of why do we have to go to Mass every single Sunday? In fact, it gets so serious that when, the, when it comes to our son what they call this Sunday obligation, um, is that if I intentionally skip Mass on Sunday, um, I'm guilty of a mortal sin. A sin, mortal sin, is a grave matter. That means like, not doing what the Lord has asked me to do. And I know it's a sin and I freely choose to do it anyways. If I intentionally skip Mass on a Sunday, it is a mortal sin, which means I have to go to confession before I can receive Holy Communion. It's a, it's a, it's a big deal. Why is it a big deal? So I, I wanted to try to, I don't know, take a little, little not a deep dive, take a, take a medium dive, maybe medium shallow dive to ask the question, so why is it a mortal sin to skip Mass on Sunday? intentionally, right? There are some times when we're too sick to go. There are some times when like we try to go, but the car didn't start. When it comes to mass, it is a matter of justice. Here's what I mean. Uh, God is the God of the universe. God is the God who has given us everything. The, the response to the God of the universe is if he's given us everything, then we, we, he, we owe him everything. That's, that's justice. Years ago, I came across this missionary and he told his, he gave his testimony. And this missionary's testimony was that when he encountered the reality of what God has done for him in Jesus Christ, when he encountered the truth, like when, when it not, didn't just hit his brain, but when it transformed and penetrated his heart, he realized that he needed to give the rest of his life. He needed to live the rest of his life for Christ. So he said the, the initial impetus, the initial drive for me to become a missionary was not out of love necessarily, it was out of justice. He realized, God, you've given me everything. You've given me new life. I owe it to you to give you the rest of my life. So he became a missionary first because he said he was drawn and moved by justice rather than by love. Now, he of course knows the Lord well and so he loves the Lord. So he also, he's also moved by love. But there's that sense, you know, sometimes we can have the, the idea in our heads that says, well, you know, I, I would go to Mass, but I don't feel anything. I don't, I don't get anything out of it. And the reality is, A, uh, you're not there to get anything. <laughs> B, you're not there to feel anything. You're not there necessarily just because you love God. It's because you owe Him something. I owe Him something. What do we owe Him? We owe Him our worship. That's what we're doing when we go to Mass. We are worshiping God. And that's why some people will say like, well, you know, I just, I, <sighs> I don't get anything out of Mass, so I really feel closer to God when I'm in the woods. I really feel closer to God when I am on a beach somewhere. I really feel, really feel closer to God some other place. And I would say, that's awesome. Please, go to those places where you feel close to God. But the Sunday Mass obligation is not about feeling close to God. It is about giving God what He deserves. And what does He deserve? He deserves the best. What is the best? The best is His, his only begotten Son, right? So what happens at the heart of every single Mass is we take the sacrifice the once for all sacrifice of Jesus Christ, life, death, and resurrection, and we offer it up to the Father. We represent the once for all sacrifice to the Father for, for His glory and for the salvation of the world. That, that is worship. And that is, again, we're motivated initially by justice. The God who has given us everything, we give Him everything. That justice, that motivation of justice can actually become love. We do this on Sunday. We have a video about why not Saturday, because Saturday is the Sabbath day, right? It's the seventh day. Seventh day? No, it's the seventh day. Sabbath doesn't just mean seven, it also means covenant. It is the day of the covenant, the day of that relationship where God says to his people, I'm your God and you are my people. That we're inextricably bound now to each other. The new day of creation, that new day of covenant is Sunday because Jesus Christ conquered death and rose from the dead on a Sunday. And so we express, we live out, we essentially even renew the covenant when we go to Mass and participate in the Mass on Sunday because it's the day of covenant. To not participate in that Mass will be to say, I'm excusing myself from the covenant, which is crazy, right? We, who, would, who would ever possibly want to do that? Who, who would ever dream you could do that? I'm, gonna ex <laughs> I'm going to excuse myself from the day of covenant. It's just ridiculous. I'm going to excuse myself from the covenant that the Lord has established in His own blood. What does he say? At the Last Supper, take this all of you and drink from it. This is the blood of the new and eternal covenant. So he's given us, here's how I want to be worshipped. Here's what I want you to do 
on this covenant day, Sunday. Does that make sense? So, so again, for us to say, well, I don't get anything out of it, or uh, I don't feel anything there, or I'd let, rather do something else, those are legitimate things. That might be how you feel. But justice doesn't ask how we feel. Uh, justice asks, uh, what do I owe? Then love beyond that, of course, love even wants to give even more. Love wants to give even more than I owe. That's one of the reasons why a lot of people find themselves drawn to going to Mass and participating in the Mass, not just on Sunday, but during the weekday as well. You don't, you don't have an obligation to do that. No one has an obligation to do that. But the justice part is Sunday. Those daily Mass times, that other time of prayer, that's the love. I, I, it's the love part. I mean, that, you might also have love on Sunday. That's amazing. I, so do I. I love the Lord and I want to give him what he deserves, but I also want to love him really, really well. Really, really well. Because here he's asked us, he's commanded us, in fact, to do this in memory of him. You know, even in the letter to the Hebrews, the author says, do not excuse yourself. Do not neglect attending basically the Mass. He says, do not neglect assembling as on Sunday, as some do, to their detriment, to their harm. So the scripture even points this out and says, do not neglect attending, gathering together as church, gathering together to offer the sacrifice of the Son to the Father and the power of the Holy Spirit, as some do. Last thing, we owe it to the Lord. Worship is uh, where we give God our best. And as I, as I said before, the best thing we have to offer is not only our heart and our time, those things are so valuable, so important, so precious, but also Him, Himself. The sacrifice of Jesus Christ once for all lifted up to the Father for His glory in the power of the Holy Spirit and lifted up in prayer so that the world can be saved. Here's the deal. This is so important. The church needs you to be at Mass. Not just so you can stay in the, in the covenant. That's amazing. That's great. But because you matter and your prayers matter. And when you don't show up for Mass, the Father is just that much less glorified and the world is just that much less, less sanctified. Think about that. You matter. Your prayers matter. So when you don't show up for Mass, the Father is just that much less glorified and the world is that much less sanctified. But when you do show up, the Father is this, that much more glorified and the world is that, just that much more sanctified. So do not, do not excuse yourself from the assembly. Do not excuse yourself from coming to Sunday Mass, as some do. Why? Because you owe it to the Father and because we need you. We need you there. You matter. For all of us here to Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.